in my projects I'm using quite a lot uh, various uh, types of servos so each time I'm using one of these servos I need to identify the minimum and maximum range uh, for the pulse width modulation and um, I need to type that in uh, the code um, there are differences between different types of servos but then there are also differences between servos of the same type often when uh, using the servos I need to identify the uh, zero point usually the servos that I'm using have a 180 degree range so I need to identify the zero position and then after I find the zero position I will know in which direction it will move at all times so I can use that in my code and this calibration or setting the servo to uh, zero degrees uh, often needs to be made before I actually assemble um, the servo in a robot arm or something similar so it would be really useful for me to have kind of a test bed uh, where I can test all of these things on different servos uh, before I assemble everything and before I put the logic in the code. So in order to do this I built a servo calibrator. I have a range for minimum pulse and maximum pulse and I have some pots here that I can move uh, so I can set kind of the range that I'm interested in. I usually start with a large range uh, to see kind of where the servo is at and then restrict the range so I can get the right uh, the right values. Then I can use the PWM pot and move um, the servo within the range and test that everything looks right and if I want to have more granularity then I can change the step size from a larger value to a smaller value. And here I will have the PWM value uh, that then I can use in my uh, code. I just improvised. I used a cardboard box. Inside I have a power supply. I have an Arduino Uno over there and also the uh, potentiometers that are seen on the outside. Those are connected to the Arduino so I can get, I can read the values and then uh, to move the actual motor, I have this uh, board here. That's a PCA9685 that I often use in my projects uh, to control multiple servos. Okay, so now it's powered up and we can also see that we have a value displayed here. So as I move the pot, then the values uh, change. And currently I'm on a range between 10 and I go to the maximum 510 but I can uh, change what's the minimum and maximum if we go to something like the highest range from minimum to maximum so I can go between 10 and 4100 the current step size is quite small so if I want to move in higher step sizes let's say 500 then I adjust that, and now if I turn, I'm decrementing in steps of 500. So this is something that I could begin with to see where kind of my server starts responding, um, and then um, close in on the actual range that I want. I can start with a small one. And it works even better when we put um, this one on. It's easier to see how it moves. So that's too much. So 490 seems to be a good value. is good on this side yeah so that's 180 degrees of uh, movement and then I can find the middle point and adjust this one so I can put it in the right place 
Yeah. And of course we can do this with um, other servos as well. And then this will be the zero point and then it can turn 90 degrees this in this direction in this direction so in the code if i need to uh, put the value for when it is at this position then i have it there and i haven't actually tried with uh, this big one let's give it a try it's the same kind of connection This will make it a bit easier to see how many degrees it turns. Yeah, that's too much. So 120 to 480 seems to be fine. And if I want to adjust the voltage, then I can do that. So now it's set at uh, 6, but I can uh, adjust that using a screwdriver through that little pot there. I think the calibrator is also quite portable. So there are three wires coming out of it um, for the servo itself and power for the Arduino and um, the servos. And uh, then it's good to have a um, screwdriver, some heads for the different types of uh, servo motors, uh, and a multimeter. Um, otherwise, I think it's quite uh, portable and uh, pretty useful. I'm sure there are some improvements I can make. Um, if you have some suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.